there. Good morning. Welcome to Sabbath School. It's lovely to see you. Did you have a good week? I hope that you did because I think we should come and say hello to each other and we say good morning. There are lots of ways of saying good morning. We could shake hands, we could give a wave, we could go hi. There's so many ways of saying good morning. Now when we sing good morning to you as you come to Sabbath school, we normally shake your hand. But because I'm over here and you're over there, let's sing good morning to you by giving each other a big wave. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? We're glad to see you, we're glad to see you this happy Sabbath day. Good morning! It's lovely to see you. But we haven't said good morning to our mummies and daddies yet, have we? I think we should go and give a wave to our mummies and daddies. Are you ready? Good morning to you, good morning to you. How are you today? We're glad to see you, we're glad to see you this happy Sabbath day. Good morning, happy Sabbath everyone. I hope that you have a really lovely Sabbath and it's good to see you someone tell me what day today is? Is it a Monday? Is it a Friday? What day of the week is today? It's a Saturday! And we like to come to Cradle Roll Sabbath School on Saturday, don't we? Now, is Saturday a sad day? I don't think it's a sad day. I think the Sabbath is a Happy day, isn't it? Because we get to share Sabbath together and we can come to church and enjoy worshipping God together with our friends and families. So I need you to go find something that makes a loud noise. I have some things here that make a loud noise. Can you hear them? They're my clappers. So I need you to go find something that's noisy. If not, why don't you use your hands to make a loud clapping noise? But once you have something, I want you to make a big noise. And we're going to sing Sabbath is a happy day. Are you ready to sing and make a loud noise? Then let's go. Sabbath is a job everyone what lovely noise you made so where do we go to first on a sabbath morning we come to cradle roll sabbath school of course so first we come to sabbath school first we come to where do we like to go? We stay for church, don't we? Then we like to stay for church. Then we like to stay for church, stay for church, stay for church. Then we like to stay for church. I love every time. Good job. Now, I have a little secret. I get very hungry after church. Does anyone else get hungry? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Well, I think I'm going to use my clappers like cutlery and I'm going to have some lunch. Are you ready to have some lunch? Let's eat. Then we like to have some lunch, have some lunch, have some lunch. Then we like to have some Good job. Now, I need you to stand up and look out the window for me. 
Can you tell me what the weather's like? Is it raining today? Is it snowing today? Is it windy? Or is it nice big glorious sunshine? Well, whatever the weather, I think we should go and take a walk. Shall we all go for a walk around the room? Ready? Then we like to take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Then we like to take a walk. I love every Sabbath. Very good job. Is Sabbath a happy day? I can't hear you. Is Sabbath a happy day? It is, isn't it? Let's sing Sabbath is a happy day one more time. I want you to clap really loudly. Are you ready? Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Keep going, make lots of noise. And stop. Well done. Sabbath really is a happy day, isn't it? Well done everyone for singing and clapping so loudly! There are lots of different ways that we can talk to people. At the moment it's a bit more difficult because we can't see many people face to face. But normally we could go up to people, say hello, give a wave, give a big hug, and it's a lovely way to greet people. But if you know someone that lives a lot further away than you, so you can't see them in the street, then why don't you pick up a phone and give them a call? I've got family members that I can call on my phone. How about you go and get your phones from your mummies and daddies, and we can phone someone up. And while you're thinking about getting your phone, let's think about someone that we can call. Hmm, now I speak to my mummy a lot on the phone. Have you ever spoken to your mummy on the phone? You have? Well, why don't we take our phones, we dial in mummy's number, and we're gonna talk to mummy on the phone. Are you ready? I talk to mummy on the phone, on the phone. Okay, hmm, I wonder who else we can talk to on the phone. We've spoken to mummy. Why don't we speak to daddy? Do we know daddy's number? Okay, let's type in daddy's number and speak to daddy. Ready? I talk to daddy on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to daddy on the phone and he hears me. Bye Daddy! Okay, hmm, we've spoken to Mummy, we've spoken to Daddy. I wonder, does anyone have a brother? You ever spoken to brother on the phone? Let's dial in brother's number. Are you ready? I talk to brother on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to brother on the phone and he Okay, hmm, so if we speak to brother on the phone, I wonder if anyone has any sisters that they speak to on the phone. I'm sure someone does. How about we speak to them? Dial in sister's number. Ready? I talk to sister on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to sister on the phone and she hears me. Bye bye sister. Okay, we've spoken to quite a few people haven't we? I wonder, has anyone spoken to grandma recently? Why don't we type in grandma's number? Let's call grandma. Are you ready? I talk to grandma on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to grandma on the phone and she hears me. 
okay, we've got time to call one more person. Let's think we've spoken to mummy, daddy, brother, sister, grandma. <gasps> we forgot grandpa. We need to call grandpa. Let's type in the number. Okay, you ready? I talk to grandpa on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I talk to grandpa on the phone and he hears me, I know. Bye bye grandpa. It's lovely to speak to lots of people, isn't it? It means we can keep in touch. But there's one person I want to talk to. I need the telephone number for Jesus. Has anyone got the telephone number for Jesus? What do you mean there's not a telephone number for Jesus? So how can I talk to Jesus if there's no telephone number? Wait, I don't need a phone to talk to Jesus. So I can talk to Jesus in another way. I can talk to Jesus when I pray. When I put my hands together and eyes closed, I talk to Jesus when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray, when I pray, when I pray. I talk to Jesus when I pray, and He hears me, I know. How about we talk to Jesus now? Hands together, eyes closed, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are keeping us all safe. Thank you that everyone is well and that you are looking after them, Lord. Please be with us. Help us to have a good Sabbath and a good week. Now we can be reunited together one day in Cradle or Sabbath School, where we can all come together and worship you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do for us. In your name I pray. Amen. Well done, everyone. Well done for contacting and staying in touch with people, but also for praying so nicely with me. very dark in here, isn't it? Can you see me okay? I've got two little lights. They're lighting up the room for me. Have you got any lights at home? You can turn the lights out and you can look at your lovely little lights. Jesus gave us lights, lovely lights that we want to let shine. Why don't you go find a light and we're gonna sing this little light of mine. Have you found a light to use? Have you made the room all dark? Not scary dark, just a little dark. And then you can see with your lights. Let's sing this little light of mine. And I want your lights to dance around the room. Are you ready? Let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. see all your lovely little lights dancing. Now, I wonder if we can hide our lights. Can you put your hand over your lights? Oh, I can't see. It's not very good to hide our lights. Satan wants us to hide our lights. So we're gonna do hide it under a bush. Oh no, we're gonna let our light shine. Are you ready? Hide it under a bush. Oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bush. Oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bush. Oh no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Good job. We really do want to let our light shine, don't we? Now there's a very nasty person out there who wants to blow our lights out. Well, Satan wants to blow our lights out, but we're not gonna let him. Don't let Satan blow them out. Are you ready? Don't let Satan whoop them out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan whoop them out. I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan whoop them out. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I wonder, could we take our lights all around our neighbourhood? We could let them shine all around the neighbourhood. Ready? All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, 
are we just going to let our light shine for today and that's it? I don't think so. We should let our light shine forever until Jesus comes. So let's dance them around. We're going to sing until Jesus comes. Ready? Let them shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let them shine till Jesus comes. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let's sing this little light of mine one more time. Ready? This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let shine let it shine let it shine let it shine well done you let your lovely little light shine can you think of something that god has made god made so many wonderful things he made us he made the animals he made the world so many wonderful things. But there's something really beautiful that you can see in the sky sometimes. You can see it when it's raining and sunny at the same time. Can you think what I'm talking about? Is it something very colorful, very pretty? In fact, I think it's a beautiful rainbow. Can you see my gorgeous rainbow with all the lovely pretty colours? They're very pretty, aren't they? Now I'm sure at home you've got something very colourful like this. I have my own rainbows that we made for Cradle Roll. I'm going to wave these around and we're going to sing Who Made the Beautiful Rainbow? So go and find something colourful and let's sing our song together. Are you ready? Have you got something colourful? Then let's sing. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love him so. Good job. Wasn't that wonderful? So many pretty colours. Now I think it would be a good idea that we all stand up and we can walk around the room with our pretty colours. Let's sing again. Who made the beautiful rainbow? I know, I know. God made the beautiful rainbow. That's why I love him so. Oh, so many colours just like the rainbow God made. Well done, I'm finding something so colourful. Have you got your pennies for Jesus ready? I have mine right here, ready to put in my penny pot. Have you got your penny pot and your pennies? Oh good! Shall we do our offering then? Let's sing Hear the Pennies Dropping. Are you ready? Hear the pennies dropping Listen while they fall Everyone for Jesus He shall have them all Dropping, 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 dropping Hear the pennies fall Everyone for Jesus He shall Good job. Now I need to put the lid on my penny pot, just like that. Have you got the lid on your penny pot? Oh good. So it's time to put our hands together, eyes closed, and let's sing Jesus Bless Our Offering as we pray over our offering. Ready? Jesus bless our offering. Jesus bless me too. Jesus job. Let's go and put our pennies to one side and let's sing our next song.
David was the youngest son of Jesse. While his older brothers would go to work during the day, David was given the job to take care of his father's sheep. Every day he would watch them with great care and make sure to keep them safe and happy. Every day, David would bring the sheep to beautiful green pastures to eat as much grass as they wanted when they were hungry. When the sheep got thirsty, he would bring them to clear flowing rivers so they could drink fresh water and stay healthy. David loved the sheep very much, so he would also play his harp and sing for them. This made the sheep happy because they knew how much David loved them. The sheep were always very well cared for, and because of this, many wild animals tried to attack and eat the sheep. One day, a big bear came to the flocks of David's sheep. He wanted to eat them because they had been well taken care of and looked delicious. But God was watching over David and his sheep, and when the bear tried to attack, God helped David fight it off. Sometimes ferocious lions would also come to eat the sheep, but David was loved greatly by God, who was impressed by the way he loved and cared for his sheep. Because of this, God protected David when he fought against the lions and helped him win. God was always watching over David and his sheep. God says when we care for the least of his children, we care for him. When God saw the love and care David gave to the sheep, he knew David loved God. God can see how much we love him when we show love to others, including our pets and the animals around us. When we give love to others, we give love to God, and nothing makes God happier than when we show love to him and his creations. We've now come to the time in our programme where we say our memory verse together. Have you learnt your memory verse for this month? Oh, you have. Well done. Why don't we say our memory verse together? Our memory verse this month is children. Children written in red. Obey. Obey written in orange. Your. Your written in yellow. Parents. Parents written in green. In, in written in blue, everything, everything written in purple. And our memory verse this week can be found in Colossians 3 verse 20. Colossians 3 verse 20 written in pink. Good job. You've learnt your memory verse. Why don't we say it after three? One, two, three. Children, obey your parents in everything. Colossians 3 verse 20. Let's say it again. Children, obey your parents in everything. Colossians 3 verse 20. Congratulations! You said your memory verse and you learnt it. Good job. Shall we all stand up and sing I learnt my memory verse? Are you ready? I'm glad I learnt my Job. Well done on learning your memory verse. Has anyone ever seen a thunderstorm? I have. They're really, really scary sometimes, aren't they? With all the thunder and the lightning and the rain. Did you know that one day Jesus got caught in a storm along with all the disciples and they were very, very afraid? And Jesus just said, storm be quiet. And the storm passed away. Now, sometimes it can feel like we're in a bit of a storm. And all we need to do is smile at the storm because Jesus will make everything better. We're going to sing a song about it. So I want you to copy all the actions from me as we sing with Jesus in the vessel. You can smile at the storm. Are you ready? With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm, smile at the storm, smile at the storm. With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm as we go sailing home, sailing, sailing home, sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. Good job everyone, you did such a good job with the actions. I think we should do it 
one more time. Let's make that sailing really up and down like we're on the waves of a storm. Are you ready? With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. With Jesus in the vessel, you can smile at the storm. With Jesus in our lives, everything is possible and nothing should scare us. We had so much fun today in Sabbath school, didn't we? We sang some songs, we had a great story, and we learned our memory verse. So I think what we should do is we should close our Sabbath school with a prayer. So hands together eyes closed and let's talk to Jesus and end our Sabbath school. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that we had so much fun in Sabbath school today, learning all about you and being able to be together even though we're apart. Thank you Father for all that you do and please continue to keep us safe and well until we meet again. In your name I pray, Amen. Our Sabbath school is over, let's sing, ready? Our Sabbath school is over and I hope that you continue to remain safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye, God bless, bye bye.